Hey guys, welcome to another video in machine learning made easy and in this video we will be implementing one of the most basic and most simplest algorithms for machine learning in Python that is the find us algorithm. So um, we'll, um, if, you, if you don't have um, the conceptual understanding of how find us works then it's, it's not much uh, difficult to understand it. You can also uh, look at the code that we're going to write now and um, just pick it up. But uh, but if you, if you need more uh, thorough understanding of how find this algorithm works, just uh, go back and check out the explanation video for this algorithm. So with that being said, we'll um, start off with writing code right away. So, so we'll be using a, a data set, a CSV file and uh, we'll just use CSV module. That's a, that's a commonly used module in Python to read CSV files. So we'll be using import CSV and we'll be opening um, with open we'll be opening tennis uh, one.csv. So that's my file name and we'll be opening it in read mode. So that's what R specifies here. So we'll be opening it as F and uh, we're gonna be getting the value. Uh, we're gonna use the reader method off of uh, the csv csv dot uh, reader and we're, we're going to pass the file pointer and then mm, we're going to make a list so um, let's, let's say data equals list of the values are returned by a reader so reader uh, will have all the rows um, and uh, we're gonna make a list off of this rows and store it in data. Right? So we have the data, and we just quickly can print out uh, data and look at it. So these are our um, this is our data. So it contains lists. It's a list of lists. So each list is um, an individual entry in our data set, right? So. Um, we have um, sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same, true. So this is um, a data set. Um, so it's, it's a very famous data set. So it's, it's uh, used to find out whether a person um, is likely to play tennis on a given um, day or not, considering the, you know, the values for these attributes, how the temperature is, how the humidity is, how the, um, you know, the outlook of the day is. So I'm just quickly gonna show the data set. So this is our data set. We have four four entries, and uh, so here we have four different lists. So that is there. So let's just quickly get rid of this, clear the output. So all right. So first, um, so what find us algorithm does is it um, outputs um, a single hypothesis, which is the most specific hypothesis for a given set of training examples, right? So we're gonna we're gonna start off with. A, an empty hypothesis. So, I mean, I mean, technically, it's not an empty hypothesis. It's um, the most specific hypothesis, which is just uh, null values. So, I mean, zero values. So, it can be nothing. Right. So, since we have six columns, six attributes, so we need to have six um, values in our hypothesis. Right. So, there's our hypothesis, and uh, we. We can iterate over the list, uh, over our data. So, but before that, um, let me just clear it out that find us algorithm works only with um, training examples that are positive, right? So it, it works only if if the if the uh, output of the training example um, is true, right? So it, it it considers only the first row, the second row, and the fourth row. So since the third row is false, it it won't consider um, third row. So it just makes use of the positive examples to build uh, a maximally specific hypothesis. So we can use for loop to go through the list for row in data. So our list is data. And uh, we can say if uh, row of minus one equal to equal to true, right? So that's what we have here. So our, our last, um, the value of our last column is either true or false. So we're going to check whether the, the value is... So minus one is basically the last value of that row. So we're going to check whether it's true or not. So mm -hmm. only, if it's only true, only then we are going to consider the, uh, working with that row. So we're going to initialize a variable. 
j equals zero, right? So we're gonna say for every column in i, um, I mean in row, for every column in row, or we can just make it column. For every column in row, we can check. I mean, we we have to traverse till the last row. So if column not equal to true. So if it's not true, then we are no. When then we know that we haven't reached the end of that row, right? So because the end, um, the end of the row will have the true uh, value, last column, right? So if we, if it's if this condition goes false, we know that we have we are still um, behind the end of the row. Then we can do our stuff. So we can say if uh, column um, not equal to. So this is actually the column value, right? It's not the column number or index or anything, um, but it's the column value. So just don't get confused with that. Or we can simply put it as, uh, mm, I think it, column is fine for now, right? Okay, so if it's not equal to uh, whatever is there in our hypothesis, of J, then um, we, we also have to check if it's uh, if our hypothesis, the value in, in our hypothesis at that position is not zero, and zero is null, right? So if it's not that, so just to make sure if, it, if it's not if it's the first uh, time iterating through our hypothesis, then the value um, at that position in our hypothesis is going to be the column value, okay? And uh, else if um, we're gonna check if, if column value is uh, not equal to h of j, and uh, if it's if the value for that position in our hypothesis is not equal to zero. Right. Then we know that um, there are two different values uh, that were encountered for that same position, I mean same column, right? Or for that same attribute, perhaps. So we can say um, we can just assign um, h of j equals question mark. Question mark is just a like a wildcard argument, you know, generalized parameter. So that just to denote that it can take any value in our hypothesis. So that's how we are going to print out our hypothesis. So yes, that is done, and uh, we can call, um, we can just increment uh, j over here. Right, so um, then after this for loop runs, uh, we can print out the our hypothesis, our specific hypothesis, our maximally specific hypothesis, maximally specific hypothesis is going to be our H, right? So that's done. So we'll just quickly run this thing and uh, see for ourselves if this works. And uh, here it gives out our maximally specific hypothesis. So sunny is fixed, warm is fixed, strong is fixed because the values for these columns or these attributes never change over our data set. So if you take a look at our uh, data set, so wherever, for the positive training examples, wherever there's true, um, the first attribute never changed. So, so it always remains sunny. And the second attribute as well remained warm for all our positive training examples. And, uh, but for the third attribute, it's uh, normal in our first entry and it's high in our second entry. So just as soon as it encounters a different value for a given attribute, so it, 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 going, it goes to change uh, the given value to uh, question mark. So that's what it did right here. And uh, then for the fourth attribute, it, it's strong in every entry, it doesn't matter. And uh, the then so it's warm here warm and then cool over here so that's why I change it to question mark then again it differs over here as well right so that is there and um, I think that's it for uh, find us and if you guys want if you guys don't know how this works I mean you, you can just um, make it out just by looking at the code but if you don't know if you want to if you want a more conceptual explanation of how find us is working uh, under the hood, then uh, go back and check out the explanation video for Finders. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.